Hello, my name is Del Deaton. I'm guest curator for Bond Watches, James Bond Watches, here at the National Watch and Clock Museum in Columbia, Pennsylvania. Also author creator of JamesBondWatches.com. Right now we are in the Stonehenge Gallery. This is where the James Bond Watches exhibit is being set up. Right now we have graphics panels, we have walls that have been prepped, cases that are set in their relative positions. We're going to start putting all of these things together and over the next few minutes we're going to show you what it is that uh, is involved in putting together a fantastic display of this size. Okay, if you look about me you start to see some progress on the walls, the graphics. You can see we've kind of created a horizontal line which gives you an image of both photographs of Ian Fleming, uh, Albert R. Broccoli, uh, Harry Salzman, uh, the original uh, Dr. No uh, image in the background there with Sean Connery and Ian Fleming on the set uh, at Pinewood Studios. We wanted to give a real sense of the marketing, of the imagery, of the uh, visuals that associate themselves with the watches uh, that we're going to be displaying here, to put these things in a brand context, in a movie context, and in, and in a historical context. Here in phase three, we have individual vignettes set up. So each uh, individual watch uh, has its own presentation. In this case, the theme is the uh, pseudo-analog watch, the Seiko from Octopussy. We have an original uh, Ian Fleming book uh, on which it was based, in this case Property of a Lady, as it appeared in the Sotheby's uh, catalog. We have historical information such as, in this case, a Starlog magazine covering the premiere of Octopussy as it was coming out, the Ultimate Edition DVD, and in each case we have an individual card that describes what's going on in the exhibit. And then this will be covered with a housing and we will have these as they relate to each watch throughout the exhibit. Okay, we're in the final stages of preparation here in the Stonehenge room of the National Watch and Clock Museum in Columbia, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're now working on the details and we're so we're placing individual lights to create their appropriate mood, illuminating individual cases such as on my left here the Omega watches, behind me the Hoyer, over on this side the uh, Seiko watches and then more toward the front we've got the Hamilton Pulsar and uh, some initial uh, Submariner uh, and the Breitling watch up in the front. So one of the last areas that we're setting up here in the exhibit is of course the Ian Fleming uh, documentation and the Rolex Explorer 1016 area where we will show the original James Bond watch. Uh, here we have correspondence lent to us uh, from the Lilly Library where the original uh, Ian Fleming James Bond uh, novels, uh, the manuscripts are housed. Uh, correspondence with his publisher. We have uh, his original uh, author's copies that he had bound of his books and we additionally have the manuscripts that he typed himself at Goldeneye for books like From Russia With Love and My Hands, uh, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, and Live and Let Die. And here we are in the last phase of the setup and we have, you'll notice behind me, the light boxes. Everything is in place. We have the cases in the middle. Everything is cleaned up and we're ready for opening day. So again, James Bond watches or Bond watches, James Bond watches at the National Watch and Clock Museum will be open from June 18th, 2010 through uh, April 30th, 2011 here in Columbia, Pennsylvania.